Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. And I'm Gio Benitez with the top stories on this Friday. Egypt is bracing for more bloodshed as backers of the country's ousted president, Mohamed Morsi, declare today a Friday of anger. They're protesting the government's state of emergency and dust to dawn curfew. Christians are pleading for help. The Their churches looted and gutted by fire. The death toll has already topped 600 with thousands more injured. To New Zealand now, where a magnitude 6.5 earthquake rattled the central part of the country. The shaking triggered panic in some office buildings, but it caused no significant damage or injuries. It did, however, spill more than 65,000 gallons of wine at one vineyard. That's a whole lot of wine. <laughs> From spilled wine to your morning cup of joe, a new study shows that people under 55 who drink more than four cups of coffee a day have a higher risk of dying. For men, a 56% increase of an early death, and for women, get this, a 113% increase. That's the headline. <laughs> Possible reasons include stress, caffeine, and lack of sleep. No more coffee for me. And there's apparently a lack of truth at a zoo in China. Visitors who thought they were looking at an African lion were shocked when it started barking at them. It turns out the animal was really a dog. Same thing in the wolf's cage. And in the leopard enclosure, foxes. The zoo claims the substitute animals were just placed there temporarily while the real ones were sent to a breeding facility. That is a team tiny lion, if you ask me. <laughs> Look at that him. That is a measly looking lion. Oh, but it's so creative. <laughs> I know, it's creative and actually it's adorable. I'd be upset though if I paid to see a lion and I saw a barking lion. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would be really upset. <laughs> I love it. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Gio Benitos. And I'm Diana Perez. Thank you for watching. <laughs> this is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.